Hello and welcome back to the channel of Major 92 the Shaman of Gaming and welcome to a series that I've been planning to do for a long, long while, held off for a couple of reasons. The Pretty much the main reasons is because every single uh, piece of DLC that's been released um, for Dark Souls 2 so far, um, I've been planning to do a live playthrough of them. I even started recording the uh, playthrough for the Sunken Crown and the uh, Crown of the Old Iron King. But then I scrapped that plan because I knew that all three of these pieces of DLC were coming out. What, I, what I'm planning to do, and as you'll be able to see from the thumbnail and the title of the video, is I've always wanted to do a hex build. It's something I've not really played around with too much. Um, but when I started these, I thought, well, there's still you know one piece of DLC to come out. So I may as well wait until they've all come out and then just make an entire playthrough with all of the content in the game. Try and get everything done with something that I'm not really that familiar with, which is a hex build. Um... So before I start, a couple of notes. I apologise for the lighting uh, situation and the fact it'll look like I've got fucking jaundice in this video. It's just because it's pretty dreary here. The weather's shocking. Um, the light behind me is too bright. You can sort of see it up there. If I turn that on, and as you can see, I've got my little my, my shag pad set up here. That's just to keep the glare off the screen. Um, so yeah, I've had to put some makeshift lighting up with a, a, a lamp behind the uh, behind the telly there. So basically, that's the notes. That's the reason why I haven't started this series earlier. But now I'm planning to get into it and to just, as I said, just get all of the content of the game out and off and running. And there is going to be face cam. There's going to be a slight twist to this video as well, because this game is so um, punishing uh, but rewarding. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to punish myself every time I die using this. Uh, this is a plastic spatula, as you can see, and every time I die, it's imprint in my face. So, that's the stipulations, and there's a couple of bosses in the DLCs where I will die a lot, so, you know, it might be a permanent scar by the end of this video series, but without further ado, without talking too long, let's just dive straight into this. Uh, I'm also going to talk about what I think about um, the lore of each area when I'm going through it, certain dialogues, the, the opening cinematic here as I go through it. Obviously people have seen this by now, they're not too, and obviously the subtitle, so you don't really need to hear it too much, so I'm just going to be discussing it as it goes through. Obviously I think it's sort of common knowledge at the beginning of this um, that Maybe it, it sort of shows you that Drang Lake, people don't know why they're going there. And this character that you are, I don't know why they sort of chose to do an opening cin cinematic like this when it's clearly a male character, when you can be fi male or female. I don't really know. It's quite a cool cinematic anyway, but, you know, obviously he's left his, his family behind, forgotten about them, and something's drawn him to Drang Lake. A place <coughs> where souls may mend your ailing mind. <laughs> You will lose everything. Cheers. Once branded. As you can see, it's just saying like this is obviously the fact that char your character's family. Obviously, it's not really. I don't and think it's got that much lore implications, but it's just showing that basically something's drawing him towards your Drang Lake. Don't know what it is, future. but he's completely forgetting about his uh, his light. past. I also do believe that this character is the Emerald Herald, just because of the similarities between the dialogue and the fact None that the sailor is a fourth firekeeper. Uh, she's have. kind of like then, vaguely mentioned as a firekeeper, but not shrub. sort of blandly. Um, a thing that feeds so yeah. on souls, a hollow. Long ago. <laughs> in a walled-off land far to the north. A great king built a great kingdom. I believe they called it Drang Lake. Perhaps you're familiar. I'd say she's lost the looks a little bit. I think I need to turn this around a little bit as well. There you go. I'd say she's lost the looks a little bit. Something that I didn't see, I've never noticed 
really and I've never really looked out for it in this on in openings in my you can see in the in the reflection of the lake that's just it's just def, just reflecting the ruins as they look but apparently when it shows again you can actually see the reflection of like a castle that was there or something I don't know I, whether it's um, metaphorical you do like to do that kind of thing I'm not even sure where it I've never actually looked for it I've just heard about it so I don't even know at what point it actually shows it ah there it is yeah yeah I've never I've never even actually looked for it I just met heard uh, that that was the case I don't know how much sort of lore implication that all of this has got. Obviously, it shows that there's some kind of our world, Drang Lake, sort of separated from the rest of the. No, like I said, I don't know whether that's got any lore implications or they just thought it was a cool concept. I don't know. I don't know whether it matters or not, really. For that is your fate. The fate of oh the no, curse. it does look sexually on turning visually. I may say so. I've got some my fucking eye as well. Ooh. Right, let's do this. I'm not going to mess about with the character customization too much. The one thing I'm a little bit. A little bit. Mm, I'm not decided on what my starting class is going to be because with hexes or with a hex build you have to have like high intelligence and faith I'm trying to think of one that's sort of maybe quite balanced in those two because the sorcerer's got high intelligence but really low faith and the cleric has got really high faith and low intelligence so it you know they you would think that they'd be more uh, it, it'd be a better idea to start with them but I think there's other classes that maybe start 7 intelligence, 5 faith, I think there's one that's 6-6. Six, six. And I also kind of want to start with one that's got high-ish vigor, because I'm not going to be putting that many points into vigor, so I want one that's got sort of, you know, decent vigor right up from the start, really. Um, I did look at the classes last night, but I can't really, I can't really remember the actual stats. I think the 6-6 six, six faith with 12 vigor might be the warrior. Uh, I don't know. I'm just trying to think how early you can pick up chimes and uh, and catalysts as well. I I can't really. I, I, as much as I have played this game, I think I played played all the way through it about four, five times now, maybe. But I'm still not as up on item locations as I am in Dark Souls One. I think in Dark Souls One, I could probably tell you where every single item is um, from an item description or whatever. Uh, this is a chance for me to actually get my first death because I always draw this ogre out just to get the gold pine resin. Um, so this is a, a chance for me to gain my first death. So if I do do that, then and a door. Oh, it doesn't look like I'm gonna. It looks like I've actually out maneuvered him. I will be free to just grab that. Good stuff. Good stuff. I think that's the first place that I ever died in this game. Because uh, a couple of people that I know uh, played the game early from release. One of them was being my, one of the brothers. Um, and they didn't really notice that path from the beginning. But I knew it was there. And uh, yeah. I, I was like, yeah, I got this. I got this. I didn't have this. It's safe to say. But... Uh, Let's see what this has got to offer. <laughs> what seems to be the ruckus? Oh to be honest, I don't think really she's in a position to, to ridicule anybody about her face. It's to be fair, to, to, I mean, to ridicule anybody about their face when literally she has got a crow hook of a nose. You. 
The first episodes of these are always going to be a little bit like... Yeah, just, just that. There you go. Um, the first episode, especially in this game, probably starts slower than the first Dark Souls does. Um, whereas first Dark Souls, you can pretty much do the tutorial and there's a boss straight away and all that. I think that the introduction to this game is a lot slower, so maybe I'll only do it to up to like Majula and then that'll be it. Collect all the shit around there and uh, see what happens. Try to recall your name. Um, my name is. My name is. Hmm. My name is. Urethra. I'm not surprised you're laughing. If somebody told me that it was legitimately their name and they had sort of publications that could show that that was their name, I reckon I would give out some sort of chuckle at least. It's a human effigy. It's a human effigy. Oh. Makes me laugh that they're so precious to you in this game when you literally, it literally lo just looks like it's grown, like out of a mushroom or something, it just looks like it's... I do like the design of the human effigy though, the fact that it's that the sort of twist in the middle is like the dark sign. Pretty cool. This is the point where I'll get to check my stats, I'll get to check the starting gifts, uh, not starting gifts, the starting classes. Uh, yeah, he's got, that's got 12, um, 12 vigor, 5 intelligence, I think. 5 intelligence, 5 faith. Which, that would probably be a decent starting point, to be honest. Uh, that's 3, 6, 7, 5 with 12 vigor. Again, that's pretty good. Um, actually, that is probably, that's probably even better. 11. No, that's the starting level. What am I talking about? That That's the starting level. The vigor's there. Um, so that one's got 7 vigor, 12, 3, 6, 4 vigor, 7, 5, 9 vigor, 1, 8, 4, 12. Like, like I said, look, it's got low intelligence and that's got low faith. Fat Explorer's got 5, 5 with 7 vigor. And the Deprive's another option. Uh, but, I don't know. I think I might, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go with the Warrior. Uh, gift. I'm just gonna go for healing wear, so that's usually what I do. Uh, it's gonna be a male character with a chubby build, but ripped. His face, homeland. Let's make him darker of Creed, and uh, let's give him that sort of bowlish haircut with lovely bit of auburn. You know what? Advanced settings. That'll do us. That is my true self. As you can see, that is exactly what I look like in real life as well. So, uh, it is an accurate representation of me. to <clears throat> How wrong you are. Well, you never know. Exactly, you never know. <laughs> I'll say two words, rabbit hat. Go through the door and trot along to the kingdom. They sort of piss me off a little bit. Hold on to your souls. They're all that keep you from going hollow. Oh, I'll fool you no longer. You lose your souls. All of them. Over and over. It makes me laugh because this dialogue is kind of like you're playing the game for the first time. <laughs> um, it's kind of fitted round people who are playing this game without playing Dark Souls 1, but then you say you're going to lose your souls over and over again. Uh, 
but that sort of really doesn't happen and there's all there's all three DLC keys because we needed those this early on I will read them when they're relevant uh, I don't know what point I'm gonna do the DLCs I, I've thought of I've thought of I've thought that I've, I've, I've kind of been uh, swilling that round in my head trying to think when I'm gonna do the DLCs whether to do them as soon as I get the um, opportunity to as soon as they're actually available which obviously um, the first one is after you've beaten the rotten the second one uh, the Iron King is after you've beaten the Iron King obviously and then obviously there's the one in the Shrine of Winter as well which should be accessible before I think the Iron King depending on what way round you do everything I've either been toying on the idea of doing that or uh, doing them all at the end of the game because of the difficulty of them. I thought he'd actually drop something then, but he didn't. I'm just being a fool. Uh, tutorial area. Uh, I don't know whether. I don't know whether this, the, this tutorial's better done than the one in Dark Souls 1. I don't really think it matters. I, I don't actually even think I played uh, this tutorial area when I first played through it, which is crazy. Like, I didn't go into any of the, the fog gates. I just sort of ran past them because I thought they might be other stuff. I don't I don't know why I thought that when they were right at the beginning of the game, but it's just the way my mind was working. love hacking people to death with a dagger just swinging r relentlessly. But I love you endlessly. I can't believe the broken straight sword's actually a bit better than the dagger. <laughs> That's crazed. Crazed like my fucking hair is on this. Come down, mad. Whoop. Ew, slippery nipple. Well, I didn't really give him the slippery nipple. I think it is this one that you have to go through to trade. Yeah, it is. It's all good. Baby, baby. Bit of lag there. And I've got one, but you do get one. Small and small, smooth and silky stone. And it's a divine blessing. Yeah. Oh dear, I can deal with that. It's a decent start starting point. The rest of them, I'm really not bothered about going into. That's the only one I really needed to go into. Um, mainly to unlock that uh, the ladder up to the nest and to pick up the dagger. But, yeah, I suppose. I could have done that later, but it's, let's just get it out of the way. Like I said, this episode, I'm, pr I'm probably aiming to do about half an hour episodes, so this one's probably not going to consist of much. It's mainly going to be just... Obviously, this uh, character creation tutorial, items, picking up items, pretty much. Um, and there's this little drop-down spot right here as well, which I didn't know about for the longest fucking time. I didn't know anything about this. Never knew it existed. The only thing that got me a little bit um, curious about it and maybe sort of look up if you could get up here is because I just spotted this path like late on I just saw it and I was like that kind of looks like a path with the way like the mud's trodden down the middle um, and then eventually I actually found that it, it was indeed a path it's not like anything of that much use apart from the uh the chime. Spells and straight. So I'll pick everything up, pick up all the medulla items before I speak to any NPCs or anything. I think in my last playthrough I never actually went in and spoke to Shalquar because it was on New Game Plus so I didn't really have any need to. 
Because obviously you want to buy the cat ring off her. Uh, if you're doing co-op um, with a f like with with a friend, you want to actually match up the name engrave rings. Useful if you want to abandon your covenant, but <clears throat> uh, but don't want to travel all the way to the covenant. She's useful for that as well. But there's also the ring that you can speak to uh, Tark with as well, which is another thing that you want to buy on your first playthrough. But here's Maulin, the absolute knob. Uh, what else is there? I haven't picked up the Estus Flash Shard from the well. Hiya! Strange mechanism. I can't. He's actually hung himself. That's just. It's never. It's never too late. It's never too late. I know that better than anyone. Uh, you see, the fact that you can use soul items in bundle on this game is so much better. You can. You can. Uh, oh. uh, <laughs> I hate him. I hate him just because I know what he turns into. Because obviously the shield that you've already got. Uh, well, I... Not worth it. You get a decent enough shield pretty quickly before you really need it anyway. Uh, Medular items, Medular items. I think I've got them all. I think I have. If I haven't, then then smite me, strike me down. Let's speak you? to Lenigrast. Oh, it doesn't matter. Just help me. I packed my tools, but now somebody... It makes me laugh how sort of I'm a unprepared, in, like, just unprepared the um, NPCs are in these games to just, just expend a little bit of energy. Are you telling me that he couldn't just climb up and into that hole? I mean, he's he's tall. He's taller than your character as well. He's bigger, so he could probably just pull himself up. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's not as bad as the, uh, the 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 rubble that blocks your path to Drang Lake Castle, though. The the uh, impenetrable rubble, as it's known. You're undead, aren't you? You yeah. have that distinct scent. This place is it is a kind of settlement. It's almost normal. These days. It's almost normal. There are very few places. Must be like talking that. about the fact that there is a gigantic book in the mansion. There's also skeletons down there. If someone's hung himself, there's a lazy fucking blacksmith who can't pull himself up over a tiny little wall. So it's it is it's, it's nearly normal. And like you, you probably heard that it was possible to break the curse here. That's not true. There's nothing here for you, me, or anybody. For you, me, or anybody. Do you know much about? I know all about soul. I'm told that the soul is the essence of life. What we call it's currency you it makes the fucking world spin, my friend. And that's there are four be, and You're... wherever you go from here, each has a path. If that frightens you, then you ought to just give up. <laughs> Do you ever you Yep, just give me the opportunity to join the, blues, the uh, way of blue. Not the blue sentinels, I'll come a little bit later. That is all. People are weak. Let the scent. Well, I haven't got any other rings, so I may as well put it on, just in case I get invaded at a lower level. And I like the fact they've actually fixed this now. See the land of an ancient king sealed away at the Shrine of Winter. And I like the fact that they've actually... Obviously, that was uh, uh, the fact that it used to say that the markings are something uh, unreadable. I can't remember exactly the word for word what it said. But it was actually um, a mistake by the Portuguese translation team, because in Portuguese it was actually right. And it was talking about the giants uh, the returning, uh, coming across the sea. A pawn of fate. Here is probably the most Bearer important the character in the game, other than yourself, obviously. I will by your side. 
until this frail hope shatters. Take this with you. Go on, and he who made Drang Lake what it once was. He who peered at the essence of the soul. You can actually just see the spire of Drang Lake Castle Vendry. just behind you there. So, so cool. You can actually see quite a lot of um, locations from the jeweler. Of the curse, for misery Whether you've you noticed or not. You will never meet the king. Is another thing. Seek those whose names are unutterable. The fault, their souls. Once you have found them, so that hope will not fade away. Is that a shard? Here, Is that a fucking shard you However, found? Give it me quickly. Over the hill, and where a man peered straight at whatever came. <sighs> I don't know what did come of it. It's all a mystery. Yeah, from here you can see the fortress, which is the uh, Forest of Fallen Giants there. You can see Drang Lake Castle there. And also, if you come up here. Do, 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 look at the time. Yeah. I probably will stop the video before I venture off anywhere. Uh, there is Hades. There's Hade. And there's the Tower of Flame on the right hand side. And then from Hade, you can actually see other. I don't know why you can't see them from here, but you can see the other structures sort of further out into the sea, which is like the Lost Bastille. Uh, and also from Hade, you can see this this little monument, which is cool. I always like that way you can see other areas um, from the, the different areas that are scattered about. Um, so I think that's everything in Majula that I can actually do at the minute. I can speak to Shalqua, I can buy stuff from Morlin if I want, but I don't really want to. So I will put my back, actually I've not even lit the bonfire yet, that'd be an idea. What I will do though is I'll put my back to the way that we are about to go. Yeah, and I will cut this video off. Hopefully, you weren't too bored by this episode. As I said, this game sort of starts a little bit slower than uh, Dark Souls One does, so I apologise. Um, but in this next episode, we are going to be venturing into the Forest of Fallen Giants to start picking up some stuff that we can use for our build uh, eventually, and we can level up a little bit. So hopefully, you will join me. No, you'll be inspired by this first episode, but hopefully you'll join me anyway, and I will be back very soon.